morning you guys it's Karen and I'm here to talk about the products that I have that are for heat protection so I'm not sure what I'm going to call the video because heat protection collection sounds a bit of a mouthful doesn't it but I've got six products to talk about two of them are my kind of almost holy grail are they holy grail yeah holy grail products um, it's difficult to know how to judge a heat protection spray I think I feel like it's um, one of those things that is personal and it's what you want from heat protection spray which sounds maybe ridiculous because you might say, well, what I want is heat protection, but there's no way of really knowing if you're getting heat protection. Um, I suppose you might feel like your hair is less damaged and it feels less dry if you're using straighteners and curling tongs a lot, but there's no real way of looking at it and saying, yes, it has given me more protection. Um, so for me, I don't want something with hold for straightening. I do for curling though. I don't want anything with any kind of sticky tackiness for straightening. Um, I don't want it to make it feel too greasy. I would like it to smell nice if possible. And I like it when it sort of makes it feel a little bit softer. So that's what I would like from a, a, spray, a, a straightening spray, a heat protection spray. I've only actually got one that I use for um, curling my hair because I don't curl my hair that often. And I wouldn't tend to use a, heat, a specific heat protection spray. I would use something that gives hold as well as heat protection, but for straightening, I would tend just to use a heat protection spray. So I'm gonna start by talking about this one, which is probably not popular or I'd never, I've never seen it mentioned. It's called Keratin Complex Infusion Therapy Thermo Shine. And it was expensive. I can see on the back, it's still got the label on it, £17.35. Um, and this is very similar to another one I'm gonna talk about. And I do like this one, but I wouldn't purchase it again. I'm not sure why I thought spending £17 was worth it. I think at the time, I bought this when I had long hair and my hair was very damaged at the bottom. You know, it was very, there was a lot of split ends and I felt like, Sometimes you, you kind of buy into that, don't you? If you spend more money, it's gonna be a miracle cure. Um, and obviously it wasn't. This is one way you spray it and it can be a little bit oily. Um, so you have to make sure that you do it from a distance and you just do a sort, a sort of mist. Anyway, I'm not gonna talk about that one too much. I don't imagine too many people will be interested because like I said, it's not talked about. But this next one is a new product. This is the Batiste Heat and Shine Spray um, with keratin and Inca Inch Oil. So I showed this in the new at the drugstore and I had barely used it then and I have used it since and I don't like this one. This is not a repurchase for me and in fact I won't use it up because it feels, it feels like nothing. I feel like, I feel like I spray it on and I like to feel like with the heat protection spray that you need to straighten it, <coughs> also catches in my throat, that you need to straighten it to get the, whatever feeling you've got in your hair out, if that makes sense. So either that it's wet or that it's a slight bit greasy, but that when you straighten it, that's gone and you're just left with soft hair. This, where I've put that in, I can't even tell where I've put it in. And it's still, it doesn't make any difference to how the straighteners go through your hair. And I just feel like I'm not getting any protection with it. And it's such a kind of fine mist. It's just, it's not even a fine mist. It's a strong, it's more like a hairspray. That's what it feels like. It doesn't feel like a heat and shine spray. So I don't like that one, unfortunately. The next one is this, and it's the uh, Lee Stafford Ubuntu Oils Moisturising Heat Protection Spray. This is one of those things that I bought as part of a new at the drugstore range, and it was a three for two, and I bought, I think, the, a mask and a conditioner or something like that, and then this was my third item. I didn't particularly want it. I do really like it. I wouldn't repurchase it. There's two reasons why. One is I don't like the smell. It's not a horrible smell. It's just not my type of smell, if you know what I mean. I just, what does it smell like? Actually saying that smells a bit medical, normally I like that, but it's just, I just don't like the smell of it. Um, it actually, it smells very really alcoholic. that's what it smells like. It smells more like a gin or something, and I hate the smell of gin. <laughs> um, anyway, the other reason is that I've got a Holy Grail leave-in spray-in heat protection, so unless there was something that was new, I wouldn't be repurchasing something that wasn't my holy grail, if that makes sense. So I, it's not to say I'll never buy another heat protection spray. I will. If it's one that I see on YouTube that everybody's raving about, if something comes out in new at Boots and I'm going to include it in my new at the drugstore, I'll buy it. But um, other than that, I won't repurchase it. But maybe smell it in the shop if, you, if you're going to try and see what you think. Um, but otherwise, it's good. It's like a water. That's what I feel. it feels like when you spray. It just feels like you're spraying water on your hair. But when you put your straighteners through, it does disappear and just leaves you with nice soft hair. So I do like that. And I am going to use it up. I've nearly used it up. In fact, it's probably down to about there. This one's probably nearly done. 
Okay, um, I've got three products left, two of them which, two of them are my holy grails. And this one, I do love this one. This is the TG, Catwalk by TG Haut Iron Spray. And this is the one that I said is very similar to that initial one I bought. This one doesn't have the price of it, but I'd imagine it's pretty similar priced, about 15 pounds, something like that. This one I love for the smell. Let's see. Yeah, it's, it's a very perfumed smell. It's a very, actually it's quite a sweet smell, which I don't normally like, but I, I like this for the smell. I also like it for how moisturizing it feels, and that's maybe a bit, um, it's because it's greasy basically but if you put too much on then your hair can look greasy so you do have to be quite careful and you guys know that I'm not very good at being careful but if you spray this in a fine mist from here and then run your straighteners through it does give you lovely lovely soft hair and it feels like this one I would say feels like it's doing something you know so this if I couldn't get the next one I'm going to tell you about that's my holy grail this would probably be the one I would go for just now and but like I said I do have to be really careful with this one but I do recommend that I can't remember if I mentioned at the beginning but I've only got one for curling irons one that I use with curling irons but you could use any of these if you only want to use a heat protection spray with curling irons you could use any of these with a curling iron but this is my holy grail um, heat protection spray to use with straighteners and it is the Weller thermal image heat protection spray I, I think I might have mentioned this recently in favourites or something like that and I said that I had seen it no not in favourites what did I mention it in it wasn't in a haul because whatever it was in I said oh I've seen it in the shop somewhere but I can't remember where I feel like it might have been Sally's I think it might have been Sally's that I saw it and it's one of these dual phase ones that you shake and then spray and it comes out like water but when you run your straighteners through there's a little bit of kind of steam and it feels very moisturizing and you feel your hair feels lovely and soft so it's kind of the same result as with this TG one but I don't need to be as careful it never leaves it feeling greasy and it never leaves it feeling dry like with with this one I feel like you do have to saturate your hair otherwise you know you've got that dry feeling from using straighteners um, and definitely with this Batiste one no matter what you do I feel like you get that dry feeling but with this one just a few sprays and I feel like it does exactly what I want it to do so this is my holy grail and this is my third bottle I think I ordered them from Beauty Bay I think it's about seven or eight pounds something like that so I think that's really good um and the only reason I've not used I mean I suppose I've used that much is because I'm always trialing something new you know or trying to use something up so I'm looking forward to getting back to using this I will list all these products below for you just because you won't remember the names. Um, so my final one is my curling iron spray and I've used a lot of this. But it's down to there and it's very expensive. I don't remember the exact price. Let me look it up while I'm talking. I think it might be, is it maybe more than £20? But it's called BB Holding Spray. So it's Bumble and Bumble Holding Spray. Yeah, so I've checked the price and it's £20.50, which is quite a lot. You know, you do get 250 ml in here, so it's quite a big bottle. But it's funny because I often watch YouTubers and a lot of them will say, I'm really sad, this is nearly running out. And I always think, why, why does that make you sad? Because it's never on a product that's like really hard to get hold of or, I mean, it normally is an expensive product, but I always wonder what they mean by that because I'm like, go and buy another one. You know, it's not limited edition. It's not you can buy it in your country, you seem to have enough money because you're doing a haul, why is it making you sad? But I actually feel that way about this and I think it's because it kind of hurts to spend 20 pound on a product like this um, that I use quite a lot of when I use it and like I said, you can see I'm down to there already um, and especially when I'm trying to be careful with money, you know, and it's also, you're spending money, money on something that's not new. You know, I feel like spending money on something new has got, it's just better than buying something that is a repeat purchase. Do you guys know what I mean? I'm sure you, some of you will know what I'm talking about. Anyway, this is brilliant. This is, in my opinion, better than the Paul Mitchell Hot Off The Press, although I am gonna try the Paul Mitchell Hot Off The Press again. I have already tried it once and it didn't work for me. So why am I trying it again? Why am I trying it again? I think because, I don't know, I always like to give things a second chance and I should have kept it and tried it again that way, but that's just not me. I'm too impatient for that. I would have given it away in one of my little goodie bag things, but um, this one's better anyway. It's basically like a liquid hairspray. It's like a non-aerosol hairspray and it does make your hair crispy. So what I mean by that is if I was gonna curl my hair, I'd take this, spray it on the lengths, 
put the curling tong in, take the curling tong out and it would just be all kind of stiff and crispy. But when my whole head of hair is done, I would just sort of run my fingers through it and it would, the crispiness would go away. You can definitely just easily brush it out or, you know, take it out with your fingers. But it does make my curls last longer. It's still, I would still try other things. Oh my goodness, he's so barky this morning. So it definitely makes my curls last longer, but I'd still try other things because it doesn't, my hair still drops by the end of the day, you know, and I've only got a wave in it, but it makes them last longer than anything else and them using nothing. So this is definitely my holy grail. And when I get to the bottom of this, I will buy another one of this unless I found something else better. And like I said, actually thinking about it, I'll order that Paul Mitchell hot off the press today because I haven't seen it in any shops. Maybe in my hairdressers actually, I'm at the hairdressers on Sunday. No, I've checked in there before. I'll order it and let you guys know what I think second time round. I'll show you it in a haul, I'll talk about it in a haul. Um, but that's everything. So that's everything that I have got for heat protection, which I think is not too bad considering when I did my oils video, I had more than 10 and then I had more than 10 for whatever the second thing was, a volumizing products. So I've got half as many for heat protection sprays. So I'm quite pleased with that. Um, I think next I will do just general leave-in products. Um, so it will be leave-in treatments like leave-in conditioners or I'll do hairsprays. I'm not sure. Let me know if you've got a preference for which one you would like to see next. I'll let you know what's on my face. You will have noticed the lighting changed halfway through because I couldn't see myself properly and it's been puzzling me as to why I couldn't see myself when I finally figured it out. I'm using my Glamcore lights at the back because I've got the window, the blinds open so that we can get the light from outside. But I had them facing me and it's because they were blinding me and I thought that's no good. So I've just bent them down so it might look a little bit darker but hopefully it's still okay. But on my face I have got the CC cream, the Bourjois CC cream and then I use on top of it the YSL mineral powder which i think i do like the finish but it's still i always feel like with a mineral powder there's a, a cakiness to it that looks nice at first because it looks kind of airbrushed and perfected but that quickly sinks into lines and things you know but anyway that's what i've got on today so we'll see how that goes um, on my eyes i've got a little matte pigment that i ordered you you may remember if you've been with me for a while it is by it's pigments on Etsy. I think they were called Ethereal. Was it them or was it somebody else? But it's called Meadow, the pigment. And it's just that lovely lilac colour that you can see. And then I just use the Tarte Tartlet palette um, for the rest. I seem to be using that every single day. No matter what eyeshadow look I use for the main colour, I just use the Tartlet palette in addition to that. Um, on my cheeks, I use the Too Faced Justify My Love blush. And on my lips, I used the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Requiem. Sorry about that, Watson is just in such a barky mood at the moment. Um, he's a little bit anxious at the moment. I'm not sure why. I've got to try and figure that out. But um, yeah, Requiem on my lips. That's everything. Thank you very much for watching.